the big time. Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. Your mom in the fucking stand. I have a I have a Prius right now, and uh, I'm kind of done. I'm kind of done really? with it. What's going on? I've, I've I've had it for eight years, and I just never felt. I just I feel little in it. Mm-hmm. And I think maybe because I'm a small person, that's like a complex for me. Sure. Is when like uh, like this guy in a pickup truck just pulled up next to me. I cut him off, apparently. I didn't mean to, but it was a merging situation, and he wasn't giving me room, and I, I took it. He followed me home. <gasps> what? And I was taking extra turns to see if he was following me. And he was in one of those big, like, you know, Ford F-250s. Which is so fun. Oh, unless really? yeah, unless you have like pool those. cleaning equipment in the back or something, <laughs> yeah. you're a douche. If you yeah, live yeah. in a city and you drive a pickup just to drive a pickup, yeah. you're a douche. Yeah, you're a rapist. <laughs> yeah. And so he follows me to my house and I stop like a block short and he pulls up next to me and he goes, hey, you cut me off in your faggoty car. And I, <laughs> and I just started laughing. I was like, I go faggoty car? <laughs> That's pretty great. It just made me laugh. So, yeah. And it, it totally disarmed him. He didn't know how to handle it because yeah. he wanted me to push back. Sure. And I saw him pick something up as he pulled up next to me. Fuck. So I was scared, but then the laughter just diffused the whole situation. And then I let him curse. You know, he had a nice chest full of curses for me. Uh huh. And then he pulled off, and that was it. Wow. You imagine? That's I mean, terrifying. Following people are crazy. I that? know. That's so crazy. Yeah. That's so I've, scary. I mean, I've gotten mad like anybody else, but I'm gonna follow you. Yeah. Like, I had one time a guy I accidentally I cut off in um, freeway traffic, and he started to swerve his car to pretend he was gonna try to threaten to hit my car. Do you know oh, yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's he was really, like, man, like. That's a psycho move. And I was like, yeah. whoa, bro. I was maybe 26 years old. I was like in a yeah. Chevy Nova. Like, what are you yeah. doing, bro? Like. I was with you one time where you scared the shit out of me. Did I? When you were at the wheel. We were at, a, <laughs> we were the second car at a stop sign. Gonna turn on to a busier street. And the car in front of us, like, just didn't go right away. She's like, honk, honk, honk. I don't know if you <laughs> remember I this. I don't remember it. And I was like, oh boy. And then when we finally turn, it was a car of three guys. And they just start to chill back to see like, what's up with Blondie <laughs> honking. And I'm like, yeah. and I, this? I I'm sure the only reason they didn't day. fuck with us more is that they saw the other guys in the car. Yeah. But man, I was like, you are, I had never seen this side. Yeah, it must have been a weird day for me, Gene. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I was like, do you always drive like this? Like, come on, go. No, I must have been going through something that really? day. Really? <laughs> yeah. I was when like, have you seen me do that recently? No, yeah. I haven't. I scared the shit out of me. Ago. I was like, is this what you always do? That's before therapy, maybe. Maybe. Jeez. Maybe. It was a while ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It sounds like it scarred you. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, I think about it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. Because it puts yeah. you totally. in the Gambino. position of they're not going to hit her. They're going to hit you. Oh, and yeah, then also, I'm the like, goal. great. I got to get ready to fight right now. Because yeah. Yeah. You couldn't wait <laughs> two seconds at the stop sign. That's the yeah. plan, man. Just yeah. trying to get you to fucking fight. Why don't you yeah, fight? Man up. Fight. Shit. You guy or what? <laughs> yeah. Could be a puss. I had this guy one time and I was driving my son to preschool. And so he's like, what is that? Four preschool. Yeah. So he's sitting in the back and I get to a four way stop and this guy runs his stop sign and goes wide in front of my car. And so I honk at him. And then he gives me the finger, but he can't get past me because he went so wide. Oh, so I got shit. out of my car and I went up and I punched his window as hard as I could. And then he pulled away and I stood in the middle of the road waving him back. And I look over and I see my son just staring at him. I'm like, good modeling. <laughs> and oh, so yeah. the guy kept going and then cut to like two weeks later, I'm at a kid's party and there's a little bouncy house and I'm watching my kid and this guy, Jeff, is standing next to me and he's watching his kid. We're drinking fucking juice boxes and hating life. And he goes, uh, he goes, that was me. <gasps> I go, what are you talking about? He goes, you punched my window a couple weeks uh -uh. ago. I go, that was you? And he was the guy who, uh, he he created Lost. He he oh. he, well, he he was the he wrote the pilot Shit. with J.J. Abrams. Oh, what my yeah. god! So and he had a, take me back to what led to the incident, though. He, he had, went wide on the turn, uh -huh. so wide that I had to slam on my brakes, and then I jumped out of the car because. So he was stopped though. Once you once that yeah, 
and then you get out of your car. I get out of my car. Punch the passenger window. Now, yeah. were you afraid you break the glass though? Or did you punch a window? I have rage were... problems. Oh right, right. I've been arrested three times for fighting. Seriously? This is why I quit drinking. Yeah. Wow, you that's I would never in a I know, million years guess I know. This about I'm a you. very different person. You're so docile and yeah. sweet. Yep. A lot of therapy. A lot of therapy. And I quit drinking. Yeah, that's probably huge. It always had it almost always happened when I was drinking. And uh the lights just go and I just I just snap. But at that time you were um sober. You were, yeah, you were sober. Yeah. And so when you when he tells you that was me. We laughed, but it wasn't a good enough of a laugh <laughs> to release mm -hmm. all the eh. awkwardness. Yeah. Right. You know? Because so, I think we both have rage problems. Him also. Yeah. Did he uh oh, that's nice then. Do you good think bond. that that he knew he knew like when when he saw you he was like that's Greg when you did it or no yeah oh you do and I think he knew that I was in a white rage and didn't even take in maybe maybe the light was hitting the glass so I couldn't see him as well or whatever but I didn't recognize him and did you, you so you knew him though at the time oh yeah I knew yeah. him but you just didn't realize it when didn't you realize him. it was him fuck man fuck, yeah dude. yeah it's yeah you brutal. could have gone right through that window I know yeah. But I really think my kids have they, my kids have seen me get angry a number of times. I try to control it, but you know my father had it. My father used to fucking. I remember one time he uh, he grabbed. We were in a bar and he, I saw him grab a guy and throw him against the wall. And he used to come home with he came home with a black eye one time. And uh, yeah, he was he was a real he was six foot two from the Bronx. Mm. So I got it from him, I think. Uh, most definitely. Yeah. Plus, that's a generation that they didn't have, uh, you know, therapy or talking. Yeah. Uh, you're considered a massive pussy if you share your feelings about right, stuff. Right. So yeah. I think it's sense. a New York thing, also. For sure. Cultural. It's it's Irish. It's very Irish. I wrote a book called Dear Mrs. Fitzsimmons, and it was a collection of letters that were sent to my mother throughout my life from, from school, like bad report cards, letters from the principal. And then oh. she would clip out when I would get arrested for like vandalism as a teenager. <laughs> she would cut it out of the paper. Aww. And she had, I found a shoebox in the, in the Bronx, in the basement. Huh. And it was, uh, it was like a fucking trophy case of everything I'd ever done wrong in my life. <laughs> now, that's an odd choice. <laughs> really funny. That a, a parent would keep those things. Yes. I wouldn't, personally, that's not something I would keep of right. my children's. right. You know, they would laugh. They would read it. Oh, at, they would. Yeah. They, there was one time where I was at a. Uh, I was supposed to be at school, but there was a golf tournament. Yeah. And we went to uh, Westchester Country Club, and we drank all day. It was my me and my friend Nick Zappia. He had a motorcycle. <laughs> this is when you would drink and drive a motorcycle. Yeah. And we went to the golf tournament. We drank all day. And there's a. And there's a. Um, so I I go home, and the next day we're at dinner, and my father goes, "So how was school yesterday?" <laughs> I got a fucking sunburn. I'm like, it was good. It was good. <laughs> What'd you learn? I go, you know, the usual math and reading catcher in the rye, you know, everything's fun. And he goes, oh, that's interesting. And he pulls out the New York Times and the front page of the sports section is Gary Hallberger hitting a wood out of the woods and me standing <gasps> behind him watching him hit the shot. <gasps> oh. And he showed it to me and then they fucking laughed their asses off. They did. They, they laughed. laughed every time. They thought it was because it's Irish. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. like an Irish thing of like being rebellious. They're like, "This is great." This yeah. Is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of fucking awesome, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not in like a parenting handbook, but yeah. it's pretty awesome. Right. right. <laughs>